Today's topic is guard rings, sorcery, and them kind of crafts can help Uno either repent or perish. Please look in the description box for the comment. It's going to be addressing um, Uli, secret societies, spirituality, and any C-R-O-M-A-N-C-Y, things like that. Practice greatly in high places, in the G-R-O-V-E-S, in Africa, in Mali, Haiti, in the political circles, in the churches that have been corrupted. So look most of the details due to the censorship because these places are run by a lot of people who practice these things. The B-O-U-L-E, the Revelation 2 verse 9, Rev 3 verse 9 people, the H-O-L-L-Y-W-O-O-D, and so on. So, hold on, okay. This is the definition of the main topic today. In sports, in games, in politics, it's everywhere. And you know how the most I feel about these things, okay? So this is the definition, it's a noun and what it does. So you can pause the video and read it. So it means more powerful than natural. Remember in the book of Enoch, the fallen angels were the ones who taught mankind this craft. They rebel against the creator of heaven and earth, whose name is Jehovah. And this is what they used to get their power, their money, their wealth, but it doesn't last long references just read the screen and read the comment section of this video we will post a lot of the links that go into detail and before you put your children into these things buy clothes with different logos or don't know the origins of the things please check them out another important document to check out is um tertullian on the shows or the spectacles the spectacles also include those men who dress up like w-o-m-e-n are very effeminate they go in the theaters and they think it's comedy but it's not. Read Psalm 1. The women also who dress up like M-E-N. It's called T-R-A-N-S-E-X-U-A-L-I-S-M. It's against the laws of Jehovah. Okay. The N-A-K-E-D women all over the world. The influencers, the men and the women who are influencing people to do wrong. They are also going to pay for their crimes if they do not repent and change their ways. Remember, the warnings come before the destruction. And to repent means to change, to do the things that are bad no more, to do righteous and holy things, okay? And those righteous and holy things are based on the laws of Jehovah. In the Bible and the faith of Jesus Christ of Nazareth or King he came and he gave an example of righteous living
Now those who have the trophies and the guard rings and so on and think it's going to help them to escape hell and death and destruction, the riches and the success may come for a short while because you know the Satanists, they have a lot of power. Satan also tempted Jesus Christ when he came on earth and showed him all the kingdoms on earth and said, I'll give you those if you bow down and worship me. That's what Satan says. So you know a lot of the rituals and the people in high places who are doing wrong, they don't worship Jehovah. They don't follow the laws of Jehovah. So this story is in the book of the Maccabees, 2 Maccabees chapter 12 verse 35. So this goes for the ones who like to put on the, the things they think can guard them, their spells, their powders, their rings and charms and whatever they call those things. So this was the war. As it happened that in their fighting together, few of the Jews were slain. These Jews are the descendants of the children of the patriarch Judah in the Bible from the 12 tribes the children of Israel they were fighting against the Grecians so at which time Diocythius one of Bacchanor's company who was on horseback and a strong man was still upon Georgias and taking hold of his coat drew him by force and when he could have taken that cursed man alive a horseman of Thracia coming upon him smote off his shoulder so that Georgias fled unto Marissa. Now when they that were with Georgias had fought long and were weary, Judas called upon the Lord that he would show himself to be their helper and leader of the battle. And with that he began his in his own language and sung psalms with a loud voice and rushing unawares upon Georgia's men he put them to flight so Judas gathered his host and came into the city of Odalam and when the seventh day came they purified themselves as the custom was and kept the Sabbath in the same place and upon the day following, as the use had been, Judas and his company came to take up the bodies of them that were slain and to bury them with their kinsmen in their father's graves. Now, this is the important part. Now, under the coats of everyone that was slain, they found things consecrated to the idols of the I am Knights, which is forbidden the Jews by the law. Then every man saw that this was the cause wherefore they were slain. And all, all men therefore praising the Lord, the righteous judge who had opened the things that were hid. So the ones that had their God rings or whatever idols they were doing, when they had the battle, they were the ones that were slain because they took themselves out from under the protection of Jehovah. Jehovah is our protection. He gave us the power over devils, sicknesses, every evil thing. But we have to do it according to his way, his rules. His Bible, his laws, his power, because he's the boss of Satan and everything else in the earth and in the heavens. Jesus Christ gave us the power to drive out devils, to tread upon scorpions. We, as children of the Most High, have to use that power. And the only name by which we can use that power is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why you see a whole bunch of people coming with a whole bunch of other names. But they don't have the power like the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's the name the Most High gave us to use to pray through and to conquer devils and to fight the battles that we're going to be fighting every day so that we can win. And Satan loses. If you want to know that he loses in the end, see the book of Revelation. 
So the guard rings that one use for no wickedness and stuff and the trophies we no worship and the selves that one worship. Idolatry is forbidden. See Exodus chapter 20. Okay. So with that I say, repent, be baptized into Christ in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Repent of your sins and do them no more. And even if it's you alone, you do it until the end. The most I will reward you on this earth and in the next one to come. The new heaven, the new earth, the new Jerusalem, the everlasting rulership. No dying, not going to be there. No crying, no tears. None of that stuff. So, choose you this day whom you will serve. And choose to serve Jehovah. So that when you die, you don't die in your sins. And go into the lake of fire that was reserved for Satan and his angels. There's no forgiveness for those who rebelled against the Mosai in terms of Satan and his angels. But mankind, you have a way to be forgiven of your sins. It's called repentance, baptism into Christ, and walking in the ways, keeping the Sabbath, the holy days, the laws, the statutes, the commandments, the ordinances, the um the judgments, the faith of Jesus Christ, taking care of your nations and your households, doing everything according to the scriptures. You can't fail following the world of the most high. But following the satanic world, you will definitely feel. Even though you seem to be successful for a while, look how a lot of those people end up. They don't end up well if they don't repent. If you want more details on that, you can look at Ezekiel chapter 18. And while we keep putting out these lessons to warn you, to warn you look at Ezekiel 33. So, shalom and share and teach and train in your households how to be righteous, holy nations.